little bit's not going to hurt you. If it looks like it's big enough to wrap around one of these stoves, then you've got to fix it. Those happen when you have these line cascades and you make a stove and one side kind of gets pulled a little bit harder than the other one, so you get little bits of slack, so you kind of have to go back and straighten those out while you're packing them. So back to this side, give yourself a good bite. Hold on to this as you kind of pull and give yourself a little room to work with, that way you won't pull it out of there. Back to this side, through the grommet. And now we're just going to go straight to this rubber band. So when I'm doing one of these, I just go ahead and make the loop, grab the rubber band, and wrap it around there. Hold on to this as you go to the next side so it doesn't come out of there. Start to turn into a mess if you go like this on that one side as you're going to the next one. You we'll always want to keep that nice and tight. Back to this side. Now we're going to go through this weird side grommet here. And you want to leave at least a foot of slack. If we were to do another line stow, we wouldn't have enough slack here. So we'll stop right there with our line stows. Grab your bag by this connection point. Don't let it turn or anything on you. You want to keep it straight just like you had it. Pick it up, set it down behind the container. And we'll start with these risers. Turn these like they were on your shoulder. And then the toggle goes against the reserve. Then you have this little stiff plastic tab, they call it tuck tab, and you tuck it right in there, it holds it together. Same thing over here. Don't pull down on it too hard or it sits on your shoulder funny. And you don't want this going on. So just kind of lay it on there, toggle against the reserve. Tuck tab holds it together. Get your container ready. Get these flaps out of the way. Might have to get your leg straps out of the way. I grab this right here, and as I'm setting this down in there, I'm gonna guide these lines, make a little coil there as you're putting it down in there. And then get on here. The bridle goes out of the top right. This would be the bottom right, so on top of this flap. And then, let's see if I gotta pull up the board. Not seeing it. I'm just gonna use this tool. So, to close this, you have this closing loop. And you're gonna go from the bottom to the top, right, left. So, start on the bottom, go to the top, pull that closing loop through there. Go to the right. Your pin is right here on the bridle. It goes right into your closing loop. Pilot shoot is a little messed up, but we can still do all this stuff. Your bridle just tucks down right up here. Leave a little room for it to wiggle. Same thing on the bottom. Tuck a little bit in here, make sure it can wiggle a little bit. When you stick your pin flap in, you don't want to see anything hanging out of the side. And here you get all the twist out of your bridle. 
pretend like this isn't exploded. <laughs> so here's how I do it. I lay the pilot chute down close to the container and then fold the bridle in the middle. You bring the top half over. that you bring the sides in and you bring the top half over again then you roll the sides in it's not working we'll do it on a different one <laughs> <laughs> it's too exploded but uh anyway fold this guy up it tucks Right down in there, this leftover bridle. Hide it right under this flap. Make sure this is your option when you reach back there. You might see people punching this. It's just a, so that's gonna be easier to pull out. Probably not necessary on these rigs. If you've got a brand new tight rig, you might wanna punch it down in there. So. All right, so now you guys, how to pack them. You don't have to pack your own pack towel that you're gonna jump, but if you want to, you can. Um, so just pick a rig, whichever rig that you think you might want to jump or something, and we'll bust them out and pack them.